welcome back. It's opinionated facts. Got the crew with us right now. We got your boy Hollywood right here. Soul Toast, MVP, who's a B, and Mrs. is a God loving Matt that's in the dark. I act like he dark skin right now. I don't know what's going on, my brother. How y'all boys feel? Credit right score. <laughs> How y'all boys is? I don't feel too good, bro. I don't feel too good, bro. Hey, oh, I feel fantastic. I bet yeah. you do for a couple reasons. The same. <laughs> I don't feel great. Cup. I'm on the same page as two of y'all in here for real. I ain't gonna flex on it. <laughs> hey, so hey, look, we had week one. This was the first week, first week of the NFL. Uh, so, so of course we started off with the Cowboys and the Buccaneers. That was a pretty good game. That looked like he's kind of coming back to full form. We'll see how he goes throughout the rest of the year, how he progresses, uh, especially with that shoulder that he still has nagging him. But Tom Brady still my like Tom Brady. Can't do nothing about it. But let's get into the Sunday matchups, the one where all, all every team played pretty much. Falcons, so disappointing. So disappointing. You know what? I'm a, I'm a. Don't leave with that, bro. Don't leave. With it. The lead is out there. But hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the Denver Broncos some credit. They won their first game with Teddy Bridgewater as their quarterback. Respect to him. Yeah, Our middle is definitely love. giving respect to him. So you know what I mean. But we had a couple surprises. Baltimore and the Raiders went down to the wire in overtime. Uh, we also had Cincinnati also going to overtime with the Vikings. You know, so those were some good games right there. So just look at everything that happened for this first week uh, matchup. What surprised you the most, and what disappointed you the most? So, you know, for this one, we're going to start with some winners real quick. Hey, so tells my brother. It's only one. Yeah, please <laughs> say one. Am I the only winner here? You the only winner here, my dog. Well, I got to tell you, it wasn't a surprise. It was not a surprise. <laughs> that wasn't a surprise? Against the Giants? No. When you say Broncos, a good team. When you say Broncos win, I think that might be a surprise. You know what I mean? I mean, not against I mean, Giants. Not, see, yeah. see, I'm trying to be nice. I'm not trying to, I'm trying to get invited on the other pod, but you're pushing it. There's a lot I could say about winning not, and not winning. Hey, we're not letting you in that. But I work. won't. I was not surprised the Broncos won. I was surprised at how calm and collected Teddy Bridgewater was in the pocket. Agreed. I'm used to Drew Locke scrambling, dancing on a sideline and you know, throwing interceptions and turnovers. All the bad stuff that happened in the Broncos game was not, had nothing to do with Terry uh, Bridgewater. So I was surprised in that, but I'm not surprised we uh, we won. Mm-hmm. Uh, the defense looks great. Vaughn looks back. Of course, it was against a terrible Giants offensive line. Yeah. Um, so I'm just taking in his strides. We play Jacksonville next. So we play three <laughs> terrible teams. So I got a lot of time to help my. Uh, shit. Look, How the hell they start the season with two bye weeks? That's some bullshit. <laughs> hey, three. I think it's uh, was it Jacksonville, the Jets, and the Giants, and then Jesus. Wow. Look, we've been bad for a few years, so they're just being nice. <laughs> See, y'all need but I was surprised at that. My big surprise, uh, I guess, would would be how well Cleveland played with Baker. Not really playing that great. Not and yeah. them not really running the ball as much as they should. But now did that little key kind of turn out to a disappointment for you though? Because like, hey, you saying look at how Baker was playing, but they still ended up losing to the Chiefs. Right, they ended up losing, but I, I expect Pat Mahomes, who said they're gonna go undefeated this season, to blow every team out. They were struggling for a good portion, and Cleveland did not play well. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they were in the lead for a long time. Um, so I was surprised at that. But my biggest surprise was how well Dallas played. Yes, I know they lost. I did not expect Dak to look that great game one. Ezekiel Elliott, Damn. he coming Done. back. I don't know what's hey, going on there. Hey, that's, hey, you can smoke that Zeke pack now. It's over, <laughs> all right? Yeah, well, what was it? Zach Martin didn't play, I don't think. I think he, had, he was out. So... I mean, that didn't stop Tony Pollard from looking good. The man yeah. didn't average two <laughs> yards. Hey, Zeke, <laughs> hey, you can smoke that Zeke pack right now. It's a wrap. He done. Nah, I, think, I think Shaquan and Zeke, is, they're just got to get back in the form. And, uh, plus, it's the it's the uh, Buccaneers defense. It's not Tampa like, defense is really Tampa good. Bay, yeah. Yeah. They both they went up against great defenses. Yeah. Shaquan went against the Broncos and – Elliott went against the Bucks, so that's my big surprise, and I'm not surprised that the Broncos won. 
And I'm not that surprised that the Raiders won either because they usually start off hot and then they cool off real quick. Yeah, second half of the season, they normally trail off. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I hear you, man. But congrats to the Broncos. I wish nothing but good things for y'all. Even when Von Miller said Teddy P, he ain't had none of that since 18 was there. I think that was a bold statement right there. That was a real bold statement. It's not saying that Teddy Bridgewater is a Peyton man. That's a hell no to that one. Hell no in that category. But he's he a leader. Better Drew Locke. He better he's a leader. stabilizing force, no doubt. He's a stabilizer, yeah. no doubt. Drew Locke is not a leader. He, he's still a kid. And after two and a half seasons, he, he didn't understand how to be a leader. And to be honest, Von Miller yes. doesn't really understand how to be a leader. He recently picked that up. He even admitted that. So with Terry being there, it's just a leadership that they missed. <laughs> Don't keep calling that man Terry, though. Terry. <laughs> like, put him call on Terry. Terry. What? Terry. 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 That's Terry. Terry. How are you going to misname your own quarterback? <laughs> look, Teddy get, two gloves. Look, look Come on, Terry will get to Teddy soon Teddy enough. He's like Marty Terry might get back to Maddie or something. <laughs> I'm just saying. Teddy small hands. <laughs> Hey, I hear He'll you. He'll get up there. He'll get his yeah. name. Yeah, I hear you, bro. That was a good one. That was a good one for y'all. But hey, moving on, Mr. Who's a B? What you got, mm. man? Moving mm. on to a funky wench. <laughs> uh, we are in this together, my brothers. The Owen won a club. Y'all got a lot of coming. <laughs> God damn, man. Come on. We know you won, but can you come on now? You had your time right, to talk. I'll, I'll look at <laughs> my phone for random stuff. There we go. Mute his mic. <laughs> <laughs> The most disappointing time, the most disappointing thing that I saw was the fact that uh, my GM, who is, was the GM of the year, is still using uh, two left boogers as left tackle. My $34 million quarterback that's being paid by the Philadelphia Eagles got smacked 15 times or knocked over. 15 times. God damn. 15 times. And then uh, another disappointing moment, uh, I don't think we have a defense in Indianapolis anymore. But the it, it was we got but dangerous Russ is dangerous, Jesus. Oh no, we suck again. <laughs> no, we hit. Don't you go there. We're in this together. I'm being peaceful, my brother. <laughs> hand, my brother. <laughs> we in the <laughs> hey, Read bro. the sign. <laughs> our team sucks, so I you I choose violence every day. Okay, hey, every day. <laughs> every day. I said I was gonna be. Very, very humble because we lost, but we also had the longest active streak of losing first first week, literally in the NFL too. Going back to Peyton Manning there, it's pretty sad. It is pretty sad, but I mean, uh, what do I expect? But bright spots, Detroit actually looked like a team. I did not expect that. Mm. They played a hell of a game, even though they was getting their ass beat, but. The yeah, comeback and the back. fight within the Lions was actually impressive. I watched every game, but Detroit, Jared Goff, which as much as I said the man is overrated he's and that good. contract money right now, he he played a good game. It wasn't great because it's Detroit. But it's a fight. Played a good fucking game and almost – Put his team back in the fucking game, even though it was against Jimmy Garoppolo. <clears throat> but Detroit had a good fucking game. I mean, uh, I, I can't really complain about the Colts. It is what it is. I did not expect it is what it the is. defense. I didn't expect the defense to come out there and to quote Darius Leonard, "We got our ass beat." Hey man, you ninety nine million playboy. He he did yeah, get a right. fumble. He did hit a fumble, he forced fumble, but then we turned around and fumbled it literally the next damn play on the fucking 10. So, I mean, when your defense is on the game, on, on the fucking field about 75% of the time, what else do you expect against motherfucking Tyler Lockett in there? True. No big facts, man. I mean, look, the Colts, y'all still, still got time to get some things together. Your defense now was a little disappointed in because one, that was a more, yeah, you lost some people, but you still had a good unit there. You know what I mean? We got the wrong quarterback. Should have got Jameis. Ooh. Crap. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna fall for that yet. It, it's it's one game. It's one game. Jameis yeah. will be Jameis eventually, fam. Yeah, he will eventually. I'm I'm not I'm not saying anything like that, but <laughs> but hey, look, you did bring a Detroit. I will say there their tight end, TJ Hawkinson. I think he's gonna be making his case to be one of the top five tight ends in the league this year. He did play, he played well, he wasn't hurt, you know, he but he had a little injury history at first, but he's playing well, he looks really sharp. 
he might be a top five tight end this year. Mm. All right. Hey, moving on to my brother's MVP, Mr. God Living Mac. It's together. Now I see so why I'm dark. You can't hide from it, though. We can't Ain't hide up. from the truth, bro. bro. The I Falcons. The Falcons. I was trying to find that picture in his background. Don't do Ain't it. no sunshine when we lose, okay? <laughs> but 32 to 6, if I'm not mistaken. Should have been more than that. Should have been more than that. I'll, I'll be real. I'll be real. Yeah, they should have. But that was such a disappointing game. So Jalen Hurts and company came in and put on a show against the Falcons. We looked like we were fucking Ogeechee Tech versus a D1 school. That's what it was. You know what I mean? So they came through. They put us – they gave us a reality check real quick. Like, hey, you play your players in preseason. You let them get some run. You let them get some burn. We looked like we didn't know what we was doing out there. But, hey, I'm going to let y'all take the reins. I'm going to go with you, MVP. How you feel about this? Well, I, I don't want to say anything <laughs> bad about my Falcons. So I'm going to start with this. I will. The expert said <laughs> that we, <laughs> had the, <laughs> we had the easiest schedule in the league. They lied. And I didn't expect the Eagles to be that, that tough a matchup. And we got blown out of downtown Atlanta. <laughs> we got we didn't look good on no sides of the ball. Well, uh, that's a lot. If I, if we're going to go with the positives. The running backs look decent. Hmm. Both of them. The one that played this. But their pass look damn good. I'm surprised they didn't run more. Good. Uh, that's it, though. Matt Ryan, and I hope my brother in law don't, don't see this because I've been on his case about Matt Ryan for the last seven, eight years, but Matt Ryan looked washed. Yeah. It, it I had never seen him look that bad before. Now, it was game one, so I'm going to give him a break, but it ain't. It ain't getting no easier this week, so. I am going to double tap on that one. I like that you said, man, I'm going to double tap on that. Well, I, what I don't Girl, understand is. It's the rebuild. I understand we got veterans, but you got a new offense. You got a new defense. Why the heck these guys are playing the preseason? At least one snap or two. I have no idea. They look, none, none of them look on the same page. The right receiver look off. Matt Ryan, they have no time with nobody. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Kyle Pitts mm-hmm. looked like he wasn't worthy of the fifth pick. <laughs> <laughs> Man, don't get me started with that. He, we all know the school he came from anyway. I was down on that anyway <laughs> from the start. <laughs> but, man, it just looked awful. And if anything, if indication from week one, we going 0 and 17, bro. Uh, it just looked terrible. It's tough. You can't, it. you can't shake it. Now, yeah. Now, with that Matt Ryan, what you just said, like, yes, Matt Ryan, he was all off and everything. Uh, yes, I have said rebuild, and I'm still going to preach rebuild because it's getting to that time now. I'm, let's be, it's let's be honest. It's getting, it's getting to that time. Rebuild. You know what I mean? But uh, this is why I, I did choose, not, this is why I not I want them to trade Julio Jones because if there was one player on that roster who Matt Ryan would have continuous – This guy. He, he had continuous communication with. He would know where Julio is on the field, even if he was all off balance on the, in the offense. So – him and Calvin really need to work together. That they you know, that shows they didn't work together because they should have at least some type of rhythm, at least between the two of them. Like Julio did with them. Like that big route, that big route that Calvin really dropped. I will not forget that route. Julio makes those catches in his sleep. That's his favorite route. Calvin really dropped well, that one. You know, uh, I hate the uh, version of Julio Bubba here, but he didn't look into it anyway. In his uh, game, nah, that, either, that, so. that, that was Tennessee. You know, first, first, first and foremost, Chandler Jones. Chan- Chandler Jones. He killed that whole entire line by himself. Five sacks, man. If Julio got the ball, I was I was always been surprised. That man was in the backfield every single time. Well, and that's well, that's the thing about the Julio the Julio conversation today about this game. Hey, man, Julio could have been out there, bro. It wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> hey, oh, no, oh, oh, hey, yeah, don't, 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 don't get twisted. Don't get twisted. We were yeah, still we lost. We were still <laughs> lost. <laughs> I mean, man, we this the thing. These ass throws, bro. He yeah. missed me the throws. So here's the thing about Matt Ryan. It's always been true for Matt Ryan. If he doesn't get comfortable early, it's going to go downhill fast. You have to make him comfortable early. And as a defense, you have to – and Cam Jordan said this. You have to make him uncomfortable early. So Philly, Philly's pass rush was getting home damn near every snap. So Matt's feet were never set when he threw anything. He was just trying to get the ball out. And mine's and that first so, drive. Mine's that first yeah. drive. That was mine's it. that first drive. Yeah, mine's that first drive. Yeah. That's yeah, two, that, first that, two drives. That's been my problem his whole career, though, bro. 
he plays better in the hurry up offense. He plays in the first drive of the game. Scenario. They did yeah. the hurry up offense. Like they ran down the field. Yeah, and they just stopped. I don't. I don't, I don't understand that, bro. Red yeah. zone offense is terrible. So, so here's the thing. Here's the situation, though. Right? We talk about red zone offense. Red zone offense relies on two things. It, it relies on timing. It relies on rhythm, and it relies on you being able to beat the man in front of you in a condensed field. The Falcons don't have the personnel on the offensive line to win and to keep the pocket clean enough to get that man some time. Uh, I think it was Brian Baldinger had a whole tweet thread about the Falcon Eagle game. And brother, yeah. you want you wanted some pain? You ain't experienced no pain until you've seen Brian Baldinger from NFL.com break down that film. It's fucking about, painful, bro. I'm about to unfollow him, bro. It's, <laughs> hey, it's, it's, it's violence, bro. Like, it's bad. It's bad, bro. I mean, I'm talking like so. Baldinger has been breaking down Falcon tape for like two years now, and hey, it breaks tough. I mean, some of the shit you see out there, man. He broke down one play where uh, the Falcons, and this is on Archer Smith, they ran a play that had the guards like kind of sweeping to the right, giving some giving some sweep action off to the right on the run game. The guards ended up not blocking anybody, and that left Fletcher Cox one on one. With motherfucking Mike Davis, how you think that turned out? <laughs> I feel like Philadelphia has a, has had the same front four for like yeah, thirty years. Yeah, Jesus, yeah, yeah, they have. It's like, they it's have. like they always they always interchange at least one player. Like you know that when you were at Chris Long and they just, but they still had the same the same core there. Fletcher Cox, you know, Brandon Graham. They still had the players. That line is always going to be good. There, there's no sleeping on that. Must be nice. <laughs> this. Oh, here he go. I, I, I got, I'm I got agreeing. I'm being positive. <laughs> I, got, I got one more thing, man. And I, I, I won't. I wish. I wish I can guarantee that other blank will see this. If you're gonna bring in a brand new coach, a brand new general manager, why the heck are you gonna put the message out that we're not rebuilding? We should have rebuilt. I agree. Built your whole defense. I, I understand it's difficult to rebuild as long as you got Matt around the contract, but. You said we had to put that bench, that contract on the bench. Well, so here's the thing. Um, here's why the big villain in this whole situation is Arthur million. Blank. Because Arthur Blank doesn't want to rebuild. Arthur Blank wants to hang on to what he had in 2016 with Matt and Julio and all them guys, and he can't let go. So when he hired a coach this year, he hired the coach who told him what he wanted to hear, which was – this is not a rebuild. We can make it work with this roster. Anybody with eyes would have told you, hey, man, you got to scrap this thing all together because the foundation of this team is trash. D-line, O-line is bad. It's really fucking bad. So you can try to talk nice all you want to about, yeah, we can win with this roster, you know, Matt Ryan, this and that. Hey, man, you should have drafted your quarterback this year. You should have played. He should have played behind Matt Ryan. And you should have traded him next year. That way you only eat $27 million in dead money other than the 60. And you move on and you start to rebuild. But but not drafting your quarterback this year in a quarterback heavy draft, bro. I don't you know. know the best draft to draft the quarterback. That's what Yeah, like I, bro, have you seen this year's draft class? I don't bro, I don't see anybody I'm looking at like, oh yeah, you gotta have no, him. There, there's absolutely nobody in this draft yeah. class at the quarterback. Yeah. We don't know about fields yet. Yeah, I mean, we don't know yet, but I mean, he looked he looked more you know than they coming out of his draft. If if they had came out and said they wouldn't, they didn't have any confidence in the quarterback, I would took that. But then you don't go out and take a damn tight end at number five. Yeah, hey, look, if, yeah. if they would took a defensive player, I mean, like a really solid one, like I like Patrick Sertan. Oh. I can't, I, I, keep, I, I keep coming to you as oh. so man. I like Patrick Sertan. I do. Hey, I, he I, he ain't look good game one. Yeah, that that was jitters though. But, you know, come on now. That's first game. Yeah. Sertan, I mean, he, Sertan with the Broncos? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He got burned by Sterling Sharp, the only real touchdown in that game. I'm not counting that last one. Uh, old boy ran in with zero time on the clock. But Darn, uh, the cat we got from Washington, Darby, he's out. So, Pat Sertan's going to get the start next game. So, hopefully he got them jitters out the way because he did not look good that first game. Oh, he, see, now, Patrick Sertan, he has that mindset, though. For, and just watching him that first game, like, yeah, he said he got that one touchdown. That's going to happen. He's a rookie. He needs to learn. He needs He needs that. You know what I mean? He needs to build right. up. But he's going to get better. Now, A.J. Terrell, yeah. y'all, 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 look here. Y'all were on A.J. Terrell good. Y'all say he's going to be a good player, man. He disappointed me. Dante Fowler still looks like a waste of money. Uh, 
I, I didn't see anything. I didn't see. I didn't well, see anything. Yeah, the, the secondary. I thought, did yeah, I wrong. thought AJ Terrell. They didn't really attack AJ Terrell. They were attacking uh, Morno. Where his name is? Yeah, they Maru was getting Maru, but they did get Terrell too. They caught Terrell. Well, they got they got Maru on a couple of pick plays too, but yeah. they didn't call. Oh, but, you know, yeah. you, you, you see those pick plays, especially the one for yeah. Devontae Smith, the first touchdown. Well, like I say, my my biggest the biggest reason I'm I can't be too hard on that guy is. Bro, your offensive line give every you give every they give every quarterback six seconds to figure it out. Did you see that one play where Buddy was so wide open he caught the ball, fell, and he fell down. Exactly. He looked around and got up and like. <laughs> he was like, "Damn!" Yeah, but, I, but I, I thought Dean Pease was a brain pressure defensive coordinator. He probably is. It was but, too uh, slow. Look at this. Well, I thought I think handled. the thought process was you don't want to blitz Hurts because he's just gonna run away from you. You know, and what? I get that. he he did a lot of running away too. He did. He didn't do a lot of like runaway, and that's just uh, and that's just how. So that's just how bad your de- your defensive line. Somebody said on Twitter, your defensive line is Gray Jarrett and three roofers, right? Like legitimately, it's bad. Like it's fucking awful. I don't care what your DC draws up. If the guys if the guys can't implement it, it don't fucking matter, right? Like schemes don't matter when you don't have players, right? I don't give a fuck who you are. Like Bill Belichick, he made he he can, he's the one that's proven to be able to make chicken salad from chicken shit. But for the most part, if you don't have players, it doesn't matter what you implement, right? If the guy in front of you is, is whipping your ass, it, it don't matter. So the bottom line is, we got to get better players. You, the roster has to be overturned. If you don't Fire overturn Deion roster, Jones, please. And, 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 and look, and so, look, and like with and look, and, look, and like uh, like Holmes talked about with Dante Fowler, man. The one player six out me with Dante Fowler was that one play to where he's a defensive end paid to contain the pocket. Dog, Jalen Hurt snaps a ball. Dude, tell me why Dante Fowler immediately makes like a V towards where he's at right now, not where he's going to be. He lost contain instantly. It's like, dude, this is basic. That's high school shit, right? That's not even, that's this isn't advanced football, man. This is basic shit. Like, bro, your job is to contain. Why are you, <laughs> what are you doing? And of course, Jalen Hurts roll right and complete the ball very easily. Like, it's just, man, when your players are shit, it don't matter what you implement, to be honest with you. And right now, we just got, we got a lot of shitty players, man. It's, it's bad. Like, well, legitimately. Like, yeah, we got a new center. We got a new center. Matt, Matt Henderson, yeah. well, he's not new, but he, he's a second-year guy. Yeah, so, I thought, I thought the offensive line, they were admirable in the run game, but pass blocking, they just got the ass look all day long. Yeah, I, I didn't really have a problem with Matt. That, that Mayfield kid, he... <laughs> Man, that, that Mayfield kid had it bad, bro. Do y'all know his PFL passing grade? Yeah. Just you, can't get no, you can only go up, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is about hey, dog, 12. His, his PFL pass rush and pass protect grade was a 1.4. Got that. Bro, I'm talking about they were, turn, they were taking times on defense line. The, line the scale is 0 to 99. This man had a 1.4 grade in pass pro. You know what? I, I don't mean, know how you calculate that can, shit. Can, can you be surprised at it, though? I mean, look, that was his first ever start, and he only found out he was going to get the start probably like a maximum week time frame before yeah. our other guy went out. So <laughs> I wasn't surprised. Who's, who's out? Uh, the, I got it went out. The one we got from my like, booty camp from the coast, did he not? I forgot you know, his name. I know you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. He was, he he was, was like, hey, he replaced somebody that was sorry, too, though. It don't matter. Whoever he replaced was sorry, <laughs> so, anyway. Here's here's another thing I did find out. Y'all know that on the Falcons defensive line, the highest rated players weren't even the starters. Yeah, it was like Tui Mariner and yeah. Mar- Marlon Davidson was one of the highest rated players. And he didn't start. I thought he got to start, but I was wrong. They gave it to John. Mm-hmm. No, nah, he didn't start. Yeah. We signed a linebacker today. We signed a linebacker today, so we win this week. We'll see what happens. Hey, I got faith in y'all. <laughs> Who y'all play? We in this together. We'll play Tampa. You got faith now? About to get killed. Oh, uh, y'all, y'all. <laughs> look, y'all might not be located in Atlanta after the next week. Look, I, look I, talk, I said on Twitter, I said on Twitter that you may have to bench Matt Ryan for his safety. Like, yes. May, for his safety. But then Felipe, he can move. Felipe, Felipe went on uh, in one game. I don't know how you do that. Felipe wasn't even on the active roster. That game, he, they had to win with uh, Rosen. Hey, that's why y'all lost. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but hey, so that's what we got there, man. But I will say this on another bright spot. I know 
soul toes up there. You were talking about, you know, the Jets gonna be, you know, easy matchup for y'all. My boy, uh, what you call him, Mormon Mahomes? He ain't look that bad. Mormon Mahomes. They he didn't play the that bad. A crappy Carolina defense. Crappy. He man. ran for his life. Uh, that I don't know if Carolina yeah. crappy defense. Yeah, he had two TDs, so I don't know. And the game wasn't like a blowout. Did you see that's, him running for his life? It's a jet, so he's probably doing. He's, he's gonna yeah. run for his life. He knows this. He's, he knows he's gonna run for his life. Come on now. Yeah. And that's what look. I need Von Von Miller been saying he's gonna get thirty sacks one season for like the last six seasons. And he yeah, it's just something he say now. Yeah, it's just something he say. That's just something. Yeah, hey, just some shit he say. It's happening. It's Did happening. Did last week? It's happening. It's happening in year thirteen. Oh, he's Von Miller too. Tim Jones got five. I don't see Tennessee Titans playing like that next week. <laughs> that that was, that was just sad. Five I sacks? hope they play like that all season. I hope they play like oh, that. People discount, it. People discount the fact that Derrick Henry ran the ball 378 times last year. And the yeah, year before that, he ran the ball like 350 times. Yeah. You can't but, keep you you got you, that's a pace that, that's very untenable. Like <laughs> some guys give them it's gonna be them knees. That's nobody crazy. really had an issue with Tennessee's offense. They didn't improve the defense. Neither. Yeah. The defense yeah. Was awful. Do you think but, I got man, a question? The Cardinals. Though. Pretty much cheating up there with all them receivers they got. Sure. Do you think they can? Do you think the Cardinals can sustain that shit though? No, that's because, tough because they do it every Not, year. Yeah, no. they did it last year and then they fell off. They get close. They, they, to me, they can't sustain it. It's all. So what, it's gonna start with Kyler Murray for me. Yeah, because Kyler gonna get hurt again because yeah. he's five foot two. <laughs> that's what it starts at. Go off his back. Gonna get hurt. Gonna ball. AJ's gonna ball. You know, yeah. the skill players are gonna ball, but Kyler Murray is gonna be the question mark. I can't help but say it, but he is. See his jump throw, bro? That shit was sad. I'm sorry. The man too. Every time the, best, the best one for the best one for the throw went to Derek Carr on that touchdown pass. Yeah. He was on one but, the, it. So, he was like, wide open. Touch on it. That was perfect. Yeah. He had the best one. So that that's who uh, my top play for that goes to. And win the game in overtime. That was perfect play. And I hate Derek Carr. I think he's terrible, but Wait a point. minute, we for, we forgot another. Hey, listen, hey, look, you think he's terrible, but guess what? I just set, I just cut Matt Ryan for him on my fantasy team. All right? <laughs> hey, listen, hey, this Matt Ryan thing this year, listen here, brother. I've been one of his biggest supporters. It's time, hey, it's time to move on, man. I said last year, it's time to move on. You got to move on, man. I, 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 like I say, they would have. I believe they would have traded him last year if they could have. But just eating sixty million dollars in dead money for a rebuilding team, you really couldn't do it. This year, after this year, you can do it and just eat the twenty-seven million dollars that you're gonna eat and move on with it. Twenty-seven is cheap now. The twenty-seven is cheap now. Just eat you that shit and be done with it. Y'all gave me hell for it. Like, yes, Julio got traded. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I knew Julio would eventually get traded within the next couple of years. I mean, I'm telling you, Julio should have got traded. traded. You know, he no, asked for that no. extension, and he clearly wasn't happy two or three years ago. I hear, hear, hear what I'm saying though, bro. Like, I knew he was gonna get traded. I had a feeling in a couple of years he's gonna get traded. But I did not see him getting traded before Matt Ryan. I just could not see that happening. I, I, I'm telling you, I, I'm, it's, I'm it's, telling you blame, blame Dimitrov. It's Matt Ryan's contract that you just can't, you couldn't eat it. Like, you can't you can't trade a man and pay him $60 million to play for somebody else. Like, bro, <laughs> hey, you, you think we mad now? Listen. <laughs> very, very rare did you see high-paid quarterbacks get traded. It is. It's hard to you do. See, you been hard seeing, to do. You've been seeing a lot of receivers get traded. Unless yeah. Carson Wentz, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Carson Wentz, yeah, yeah. Casey, it's hard not going to be really hard. How, how we not going to skip the fact that Aaron Rodgers' ass came out there oh, looking that's like it right fuck there. That's this shit? Bad. I don't want to be yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. That's part of his plan. It's everything. That's yeah, his exactly. That's what. Yeah, I think it's part yeah. of the plan. He's he like, like, oh, I suck. I guess you trade me. Hey, Aaron said, "Listen here, I'm on that James Harden plan, baby. He look, hey, he, hey, he looked like a hobo. He showed up to the game looking like a hobo, like a grifter on the side of the highway with his thumbs out. And then he went out there and played like one, bro. I mean, he just didn't give a fuck, bro. He like, lost the, the shit he was throwing crazy. up was it was bad. He lost the so we can all crazy. agree, Aaron Rodgers is probably honestly at this point of he might be possibly falling off." He could be falling off, or he could be he could be doing that James Harden thing. I think he's doing the James Harden stuff, man. Well, they rebuilt his offensive line again. They got rid of like two of the best players on his offensive line. Yeah, um, they did. And 
this is one of the reasons he wants to be gone. He's like, you keep taking shit away from me. And I need like, stuff. And then you see, brought, and then you see 47 year old yeah, <laughs> vampire down in Tampa Bay get all the gifts in the world. Exactly. Wow. Like he looking up here like, bro, like no you give me something. Listen, and Green quote, Bay. Hey man, can you take that man's ball sack out your mouth? Good Who that, God. that vampire? Yeah. He's a fucking vampire, bro. I don't know what's happening down there with Tom Brady, bro. Somebody killed that motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> Damn. Please. They got his so quick. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Silver bullets, a stake, holy water. Do what you got to do. Get this motherfucker out of the league, bro. Why he had to come listen. out of the league? He, he's going to come that for play? you next week. Hey, man, did y'all see that play where he rolled right and threw that motherfucking strike to, Br- to Gronkowski like it was bro. nothing, bro? I mean, I he's, think, 40, he's 44 years old. You're not supposed to be able to roll right and still throw the ball like that. I was like, watching that game. On no, man, I'm he's Ricardo. still talking. I was watching that game. I think he don't got more accurate. He has. He fucking has. Like, this Please. shit's stupid. Y'all have fun with that shit. Keep that in the Tired of that. Watch the whole episode. Keep it in the NFC. Yeah. Tired of that. Then they're using weapons that they didn't even use last year. Like, they didn't really use AB last year. Antonio oh, no. Brown is hey, back. Hey, he didn't he use back. Hard last year. Hey, Mike, Mike Evans or Goodwin's going to request a trade because Tom's not. He's it, not. It'd be Mike Evans. Be Mike Evans. I, I don't Mike know. Mike, Mike he, Evans. He, he thought about a guy one. I think Mike yeah, Evans catches the ball. Mike Evans. Mike Evans, Evans drops, deep, and I think that's the problem. He don't. He don't. He don't trust oh, Mike, Evans. Mike, Mike Evans. Mike Evans don't give you like two music goddamn points in your fantasy league. Yeah, for some reason I can't cut. Uh, really. You know, I can cut everybody on first. my team, but it's locked. His you name want, is locked. you pick him so, first? Do you, do you want to cut Red? I don't care who I picked him first. You trying so to cut him? <laughs> because, hey, that's why you can't <laughs> cut him. You can't Y'all cut him. Y'all need to have pick. more faith in your team. You why can't would I pick your, really? hey, You can't cut your first pick, bro. It's, 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 why it, would I pick really first? Well, let's uh, trade. Uh, hey, let's talk about this offline. Hey, hey, I got a trade for you. Hold on, now. I got it. I got this trade, brother. Calm down. I got a trade. Hey, hey, look here. We got we got a couple minutes left here, man. But look, hey, that's how week one of NFL season went down. We going to Great week. You know, you're going to be happy. You know what? If I could throw something to Scott in the screen, I would. Look, I told y'all, I got a zoo ball this. chaos today. <laughs> I got a zoo ball this now because the Gators play Bama on Saturday. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm going to be got depressed. You, know you got Time. it. You got it. You got it. Let me hey, have. but you know what, though? You Anthony Richardson's going to make it real interesting. So let's see that play yeah. out. You know what? I appreciate I would admit, I would admit this. And it's the only time I'm gonna make this. I, I, I might be rooting for the for Gators <laughs> because nah, I ain't we, no we're, 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 Fuck you. We're, you listen, listen to me, Matt. You rooting for the Gators? If, if if they beat Bama and we beat the Gators, there's a possibility. Oh, there it is. Bama and SEC I wonder what the, the but, knife was coming. Oh no, no you still gonna play Alabama in the SEC championship? Nah. Hey, that, that's, 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 that's a easiest for another time. That's a problem. No, hold on, hold on. Let's hey, hold on. before you wrap, man. You always okay, be trying to shut us down early. We got a minute. We got a minute. We got a minute. I'm not, Wait, I'm before you wrap, go. before you wrap, hold on, hold on. We got to tease the Falcons pod, the Falcons fandom pod. All right, don't leave before teasing that shit. I got you. I got you. I got you. They're gonna tease the Falcon pod, and you even be on the bit off pod. All my Falcons fans, since y'all be on the lookout, we're going to have a dirty bird way. That's why I said a dirty bird way coming up with the Falcons. That's how we're going to do. It's going to be the state of the Falcons. Stay tuned for it. That's going to be some good shit for y'all. All right, babe, that's what we got here. This is the peanut facts. That's the boys here. Hey, it's man, he always be rounding us up like we're going to rowdy kids, man. Look, I ain't ready <laughs> yes. to go yet. Look at your picture. about to go today. I'm not ready to go yet. Look here, Mr. Dark Skin want to be the God loving Matt. I'm going to close you out, okay, brother? <laughs> we got Who's It Be, and this is Hollywood. Is- we are out. Oh, 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 oh,